Deadly Warning from the Potter Blog site, February 23rd, 2014. Uh, based on insider information at the WIP plant from a reliable source has been proven to be reliable. Uh, we've calculated the initial plutonium cloud size that left the plant in the first 30 seconds of uh, exposure to be on the order of 110 million becquerels. Uh, we also received some new information from this person last night of uh, readings taken post HEPA filter out of the exhaust coming at the plant. Based on those numbers we calculate the current releases of plutonium and americium to be on the order of 6,667 becquerels per minute. Now one thing to be absolutely clear about here is is that these organizations who give this data out don't give it in full context. Uh, we prefer to call one of these organizations the Carlsbad Environmental Radioactive Banana and Plutonium Monitoring Research Center. Uh, they don't like to give out raw data in full context uh, because they want to control the narrative of what's going on. We use the data that they put out and we look at the uh, information that they filed with the EPA in their permitting process uh, basically looking at their cubic flow rates of air and everything else that they've got going on uh, to come up with the values that they've released. Now one very important thing to note and some of these values will be released I believe tomorrow or day after tomorrow by uh, by these organizations DOE and CERMIC. Uh, let's pull it up here. Let's look at the, the photos. When they release their numbers we have a photo here of the, this is Station A you notice this huge exhaust vent here. This is the vent where all the exhaust gases from the mine go. Here's a Station A monitoring. This is where they monitor the radioactivity in the exhaust vent prior to HEPA filtering. Now pay close attention here to this uh, filter that they use. This is the actual measurement apparatus. Now look at the size of these air cables coming in. I think this is half inch hose. The filter is actually inside of here, and we'll show you that in a minute. Now, this is the amount of air that they're actually measuring. Now compare that to the amount of air here that is leaving in this huge tunnel that you can walk through. Alright, so here's an individual who's just taken apart the air filtering mechanism. Right in here is the filter. He's he, Right here he's putting in a new filter. So when they're doing the air filter measurements of the exhaust, that's what they're using. And then he's reinstalling it. And we have a link to this on our webpage so you can see this gallery. So, as you can see, they're going to give out numbers probably either tomorrow or Tuesday. And what they're going to tell you is, is that prior to filtering, that uh, they're releasing, uh, that they're detecting on the order of hundreds of disintegrations per minute of uh, plutonium and uh, americium and after HEPA, HEPA filtering they're detecting approximately 20 uh, disintegrations per minute. Well, so when you factor that up to what that site is capable of exhausting out of that uh, out of that uh, huge huge vent let me show it here one more out of this vent when you calculate what can come out of this thing. They have the capability if they run all three fans of pushing out 20,000 cubic feet per minute. So basically we did, we walked through, did all the calculations. We were conservative in terms of protecting human life. So these are the risk mitigation numbers we use. So, you know, if we're wrong, well, then you've only been exposed to a couple of bananas. And if we're wrong, it's because, uh, these organizations aren't releasing the raw data because they want to control the narrative. If we're right, then them turning a phrase of bananas is bananas. So we went through here and we did actually did all these calculations. And again, the cloud that was released in the first 30 seconds, and they said the HEPA filtering was only off for a very short time period. When we did that calculation, we came out and, and figured that that cloud size was 6.6 .6 billion disintegrations per minute. Now, disintegration is, is when the atom, the nucleus of the atom, basically changes, releases an alpha particle. Uh, more, most people, I think, are more comfortable with uh, understanding that in Becquerel. A Becquerel is a disintegration per second. 
they usually quote here disintegrations per minute. So this uh, initial cloud, uh, one other thing to mention here, that this initial cloud of 110 million becquerels, that was at a half a mile away from the plant where the uh, original detection was made uh, when we were first clued onto, I think about two or three days before everybody else was, at least media-wise, being published. So the cloud was probably actually even larger at the plant itself. This is just what had diffused and had blown northwest about a mile and a half. That cloud at that monitoring station, roughly 110 million becquerels. Uh, what's being released on an ongoing basis every minute, our conservative estimate from a public safety perspective is 667,000, sorry, 6,667 becquerels per minute is being released. Uh, other things to note is that um, there are actually four ventilation circuits going on underground. Uh, we don't know which circuits they're using. They could be, these numbers could reflect, uh, the current numbers could reflect uh, exhaust from the least affected circuit. They may have the most affected circuit if it gets closed off. We don't know. So these values we present are the minimum values from a risk mitigation perspective that we believe that a wise person would use to try to protect health, safety, life, and limb. Now what you might not know if you don't follow our site is that uh, these organizations here, the uh, Carlsbad Radioactive Banana and Plutonium Monitoring Research Center is being funded by the DOE to provide whole body scanning of citizens who live within a hundred miles of this plant. And we cover that in some detail too. Now just to note, they're offering 100% free whole body and lung scanning. Uh, the citizens around Fukushima, they only got offered a 50% discount on uh, their scanning. So take that what it's worth in the actual scale of this disaster. That's why we mark this thing a deadly warning.